we're headed offshore today. Um, been a little bit since we dropped the YouTube video only because we have been painting and putting cabinets together and hanging jig boards and moving and uh, we've uh, changed our location to a more centralized location in Pompano Beach on the Federal Highway. Most bigger. importantly, more space, bigger. And if you've ever been to our shop, you know, you probably feel like you're crammed into a closet. The jig closet. Which for maybe some of you, you know, not that bad of a deal, but. <laughs> we have more space. Um, we're able to spread out a little bit more. And I think, um, you know, it allows us to have uh, more people in the store and be able to help people better uh, by having the big store. But uh, we're super excited to be moving in there. We're very happy to be done with all of the construction work on it. And we're even more happy to be going out today and uh, going fishing. If you live locally or you, you end up passing through Pompano Beach, the address is 709 South Federal. Obviously, you can Google it, but we'd love to have you stop by and, and say hi. I found our new jigging boat. That's going to be the new Johnny Jigs <laughs> jigging boat. We can put like 50 feet, 100 people on that thing. <laughs> the charters to the Bahamas. We even got a crane for my groupers. <laughs> few guys decided to pursue our passion as we hit destination fishing spots in our local waters out of Pompano Beach, Florida We want to fill you in on what we have learned along the way. Deep dropping is really exciting, you know, and if you've watched other other content online or, or forums, you know, it's it's really a new frontier and it's got a level of, of really excitement and anticipation that comes with it because you never truly know what could happen out there or what you could get hooked into. Um, it also adds an element of really practicing to, to be precise with what you're doing. You know, you're taking a uh, a lead jig, you know, that is, this is over a pound and we're dropping it to the bottom in, uh, in you know, 800 feet of water or thereabouts and we're attempting to remain, you know, vertical so we can be tight to our jig and impart uh, an action on it that will entice, you know, a predatory fish, a tasty fish to, to strike it, you know, and bring that fish onto the boat and do that all manually. Um, Again, if you've been following our channel, yeah, we have been playing around and experimenting and working with microelectric reels. Um, in this video, you're not gonna see too much of that just because the conditions were, were so perfect that we could do um, this deep dropping with our manual reels. Um, All right, so we, uh, we just moved out for a uh, um, deep drop. We're actually going out here, we're looking for the black belly rosefish and uh, golden tiles and we noticed that you know our drift speed was was pretty decent uh in shallow by shallow i mean like two to four hundred feet so we bumped it out here and we're gonna see uh what we can get into we're just checking to see what's going on right now our speed over ground is is uh kind of ranging from 1.5 to 1.7 which is great anything under two knots uh really excites us and we know we can drop 500 gram jigs potentially even 400 gram jigs um, to try to get this done, but uh, if, you, if you just take a look, it's absolutely beautiful out here. The, the sea actually is a little bit more laid down than where we uh, just came from, uh, which is exciting. And we did that one big long drift from 2.30 to a little over four. Um, we ended up grabbing a tuna and a couple uh, blue line tile around uh, 3.75 to four. And so we reset that drift uh, to about 3.20 and carried it out. And when we completed that with no fish caught, uh, we made this decision to run out here. So here we are. Ooh, we're hitting 1.2 now, 1.1. This is great. That's awesome. This is a great drift speed. So I'm, I'm gonna um, drop down a 15 pound test with a 500 gram jig. Um, I have a 50 pound fluorocarbon, about, I would say about eight foot of, uh, 50 pound fluorocarbon uh, tied to my 500 gram jig and I am fishing uh, double assist hooks on top and bottom. Uh, 15 pound J Braid Grand light gray matched with a 30 pound fluoro top shot. I'm gonna use a 500 gram jig and I am using single uh, Gamakatsu 626O hooks on my jig. 
and I am using an electric reel to start out with the Daiwa Seaborg 300 ml and it's got 15 pound braid which is the Daiwa Grand and I've got a 400 gram jig to our second drop zone and uh, a couple pitches off the bottom and I had a, a strike and I'm using a 400 gram jig I phased down 100 grams because it's beautiful out here and we're staying pretty straight up and down and uh, this is most likely a rosy just because yeah, I don't know rosy is gonna be about a pound fish so that's about 450 grams I'm using a 400 gram jig and you can kind of just tell that your jig got heavier. Um, I did feel a couple flicks, which is nice on these uh, lighter current still days. You can feel a rosy bounce a little bit on the end of your jig, 800 some odd feet down. Um, but you know, I'm reeling in and just feels like pressure, you know? Right now it almost feels like a snagged jig would feel if you've ever felt that and like the jig is coming in sideways, but this one's coming up with a little black belly rose fish on the end of it, most likely. And I'm probably halfway up, so I got still quite a few cranks to go. Would you like me to push down past you, John? Past the camera. Here. Ooh. Here, like. You got pressure too, John? I, I, it felt heavy, but so jig felt heavy. Now there is a chance that I'm fouled up, but but uh, could be a black belly rosefish as well. It's just it, I didn't feel any thump thump. So sometimes whenever you get the little guys, you don't even feel anything except for your jig just get you know slightly heavier. So I got a long ways to go. Long ways to go. We do have. Uh, another electric reel here on the boat and battery that we could plug into and uh, make this a lot easier on ourselves but Chris and I are trying to uh, be a purist today and yeah, do it the traditional way um, just hand cranking it which is cool it's, it is it is cool to do it this way um, but it's also uh, a lot nicer to do it the other way as far as not wearing yourself out we get so many days out here where our speed over the bottom is you know, two plus knots, two and a half knots, and there's wind. So we don't get a lot of bottom time. So in order to effectively fish, we're, we're coming up and down quite a bit. So using the electric just obviously is common sense, just makes sense. So on a still day like this, which we don't get all the time out here in the Atlantic, we got to take advantage of using the manuals. And this is definitely one of those days. We're doing a uh, 1.6 over the bottom right now. 15 pound test, 400 gram jig. Definitely doing the trick. I wouldn't even be surprised if uh, 350 or even three, we'd we'd be able to have there he is. solid bottom time. There yep. he goes. There's a black color. Little like a so tall. I'm gonna let some top shot out and where she blows. Black bellied rosefish. So delicious. That's going on the ice. And here we go, guys. Just like I said. Hey! Just a little guy. Probably gonna send him back down. Here we go. A couple black bellied rosefish. But that is a good sign because golden tiles are not far from these guys. Oh, they are close. Yeah. Guess which one's going in the cooler? <laughs> Mine's bigger. <laughs> Wait a minute. Something cool that we've been messing around with a little bit lately was um, we've been using the single hooks and, and Chris kind of went over the Gamagatsu uh, 620 hooks that we've been using and then as well as um, we're starting to mess around with tying our own single assist and what we've been doing is, is using a uh, 
a dummy core, uh, cord, you can actually weave your assist cord around the solid ring and then go down and then do your traditional uh, knot onto the hook. And what this does for you is it makes your jig more streamlined uh, going down. And so I can kind of show you like a little example of this. This is a box that I use uh, whenever I'm um, out fishing. I use this to put my, uh, my solid rings in and my split rings and, and uh, ball bearing swivels. And then it's got an extra little thing there that locks. That way you can keep it displayed and you can see what you're looking for. But also, you know, it's not gonna fall out whenever the boat um, uh, moves or anything like that and it also has like a gasket around it so I keep my assist hooks here and then I also keep all of my little terminal tackle and uh, it's a great little item to have but I'm what I'm going to show you is is what we have been tying with the dummy cord so you could see it and I'll give you a close-up of this um, you can see it actually threads around the solid ring and then just a traditional uh, knot uh, there on the hook um, there's also a way to thread it on the hook and I'll give you a close-up of this as well But it's pretty cool and it's it's very streamlined and that's the idea This will just help to cut through the current and get you down and also reduce uh, tangles Golden tiles will definitely pull some drag on you and uh, I like to loosen my drag up just a little bit to where if they pull it doesn't pull the hook out of them in other words it doesn't it doesn't rip the hook out of their lips or anything like that that way they can pull drag but not not uh unlodge the hook from them is ideal and uh doing this manually and doing the manual crank up is pretty cool you guys have seen me do it with the electrics but doing it manually you know it, there's some valor to it you know there is you know um at the end of the day it's the same prize as doing the electrics so i love the electrics too um, but I wanted to I wanted to do it today on the traditional slow pitch. So I'm actually fishing a uh, pro jigger uh, power three uh, match with the accurate valiant uh, 500n and I have um, I have a 15 pound test on there my top shot is uh, it's about eight foot of uh, 50 pound of oh, 50 pounds. floral carbon. Yeah Oh, wow. Very nice. It's starting to shake around. Yeah. When they see sunlight. Yeah, they see sunlight. They start to move. That's a golden. Yeah, that's a oh, fat yeah. golden, bro. Woo! Look, Anna Rosie. Hey. Anna Rosie. We got a golden Anna Rosie. That's awesome. See that calf? I didn't even get to meet. That's perfect. That's awesome. That's a nice fish, huh? Yeah. Look how pretty it is. Oh, yeah. that's double rosy. That's pretty, John. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And most importantly, jig on.